Hi, my name is Camilo Anuz and I'm going to present Noob, an IMOT system for notifying public security issues and increasing policy patrol coverage. The other two authors of this paper are Dr. Mario Krusendler and Dr. Flavio Pisani. This paper was written in LAC, Laboratory for Advanced Collaboration, on Computer Department of Pontificia Universidade Católica do Rio de Janeiro. In the last few years, concern for public security in cities grew, especially in Rio de Janeiro, where this work was conducted. The population wished to be informed in real time about possible risk zones. Public security studies affirm that crimes occur when a criminal finds a suitable target at a time and a place where there is no effective protection. NUP emerged in this scenario as a smart city initiative to support city security. NUP offers citizens the possibility to be notified in real time about occurrences and, assuming, based on studies, that patrols are effective in preventing crimes, NUP aims to increase the distribution of patrols in order to expand the patrol area leading to crime prevention. This tool is being used as a start product for the Segurança Presente 5.0, an extension of a successful patrolling initiative in the city of Rio de Janeiro. This project is already being prepared to reach the streets. A set of three applications, two for the agents and another one for the citizens, will work together with Noop to enhance the original initiative. Tests of this app have already begun in three neighborhoods. NOOP objects are optimize the coverage of patrols, optimize response time for occurrences or emergencies, notify citizens of occurrences close to him or her, notify citizens of occurrences in certain locations about which they wish to be informed. The map picture on the left shows patrol distribution without coverage optimization. Most of patrols are concentrated in the upper right corner leaving much of the territory uncovered, including a point of occurrence. The map picture on the right shows the optimization. The patrols are well distributed to the territory, which makes them closer to possible occurrences, as illustrated. NOOP is composed of five main entities. NOOP Residence, NOOP Patrol, ContextNet, NOOP Monitor and InterSCT. Noob Residents and Noob Patrol are distinct types of mobile users that can dynamically connect and disconnect from the system. Noob Residents are Residents and Noob Patrols are Patrols in the real world. Noob Monitor is the service responsible for the occurrence notification and patrol location. The communication between the mobile elements and the service is performed by ContextNet Middleware. Noob Monitor records all activities on the inter -S city platform. NOOP has two pillars, group reporting and patrol allocation. At NOOP, the city is divided into areas. As we can see in the picture, each patrol and each resident are classified into groups depending on their location. Each group corresponds to an area. Due to group reporting, when there is an occurrence, only patrols in the neighboring groups are notified. From time to time, patrol location occurs. The NUMP monitor requests the patrols go to new areas so that most of territory is covered. How all this happens? The monitor constantly receives the position of the patrols and from this information makes the allocation. The monitor also receives notices of occurrence from residents and patrols and notifies the others. Group Definer Patrols constantly receives the location information and from the patrols, and from this information defines to which group it belongs at that moment. The same is done for residents by Group Definer Resident. Optimization of patrol coverage is achieved through patrol allocation. As can be seen in the picture, Area 1 is uncovered and Area 3 is with two patrols. When the monitor notices this imbalance, it requests that one of the patrols that is in Area 3 go to Area 1. Optimization of response time for occurrence and emergency is achieved 
through group reporting and pattern allocation. Group reporting ensures that all of the patterns in the neighboring area closer to the occurrences are notified. The others remain patrolling. The patrol location increases the probability that there will be some patrol in the occurrence in surrounding areas. In the picture on the left, NOOP is in action. The group reporting makes the patrol of the area where the occurrence happened, area 4, be notified. In the figure to the right, there is the same situation at the fi as the figure to the left, only this time without the NOOP action. As there is no patrol allocation, the patrols are not well distributed to the territory, and Area 4 is uncovered. That means that in the area of the occurrence, there are no patrols. As there is no group reporting, all the patrols are necessarily notified, and they have to leave their patrol stations to attend the occurrence, leaving several regions uncovered. Notification of citizens about occurrences close to him or in certain locations about which they wish to be informed is achieved through group reporting. In the picture, we can see this notification occurring. The resident who is in Area 4 is notifying for being in the same area as the occurrence, and the resident who is in Area 2 is notified because she is subscribed to receive the occurrences from area 4. The patrol allocation algorithms have two main functions and both receive a parameter with the list of patrols in operation. Calculate new patrol area returns the next area to be patrolled by a unit and the patrol allocation checks if there is a patrol that needs to migrate and if so, return this patrol and new area to which it should be assigned. The patrol allocation algorithm is flexible and can be re-implemented through city area interface. To test NOOP in a simulation environment, some algorithms have been developed and will be presented below. It's worth mentioning that NOOP is extremely flexible and was designed so that the patrol allocation argument is as suitable as possible for each particularity of territory and city. The effectiveness of different algorithms in different territories can be tested through NOOP. The tested algorithms of this paper are further distance, nearest distance, and increased coverage. The further distance algorithm or NOOP FD. In this algorithm, the calculate new patrol area function returns an area A such that the sum of distance from A to the patrol of the area is maximum, as shown in the picture. That means that the area A is the furthest area from the patrols, and that the response time will be the longest for an occurrence in area A. Therefore, placing a patrol in area A decreases the response time to occurrences that might happen in or around it. In further distance algorithm, the patrol location functions uses the calculate new patrol area function to find the area to be assigned, in example, area A. The part of allocation so pre-selects a patrol P such that the patrol P will take the longest to move to the other areas, in example, patrol in area 1. The algorithm so decides to make the migration if area A, in case 15, is closer to other areas the area of patrol P, in case area 1, preserving so the other areas from being uncovered by the migration. Therefore, Placing a patrol in area A decreases the response time to occurrences in most of the areas. The nearest distance algorithm or NOOP ND. The calculate new patrol area function is the same as the calculate new patrol area function of NOOP FT. The patrol allocation function uses the calculate new patrol area function to find the area to be assigned. The patrol allocation so Pre-selects a patrol P such that the patrol P is the closest to A, in case patrol in area 5. Doing so, it reduces the time spent moving between areas. The algorithm so decides to make the migration if area A, in case area 15, is closer to other areas than the area of patrol P, 
in case Area 5, preserving the other areas from being uncovered by the migration. Therefore, placing a pattern in Area A decreases the response time to occurrences in most of the areas. The increased cover algorithm, or no by C. The areas covered by a given petrol is defined as the areas where the petrol is located and the ones that are adjacent to it. In the figure on the left, the areas covered by a petrol in area 11 have orange circles and the areas covered by a petrol in area 1 have green squares. The NOOP increased cover algorithm seeks to maximize the cardinality of the set of areas covered by petrols. Doing so, there will be more areas with neighboring patterns or patterns that are a short distance away. Therefore, the NUPIC decreases the response time to occurrence in most of the areas. The calculate new petrol area function returns the area A that maximizes the cardinality of the set of coverage areas. In case of the right figures, the area A would be the area 6. The pattern allocation algorithm function uses the calculate new pattern area function to find the area to be assigned, in example area A. The pattern allocation so preselects the pattern P such that the migration of P maximizes the cardinality of the set of areas covered by all patterns, in case pattern area 5. The two small right figures show the two possible petrol migrations from petrol in area 5 and in area 16. The migration from 5 makes a bigger cardinality, so 5 is just chosen one. The petrol location decides to make the migration if the cardinality of the set of coverage areas after the migration is greater than the set without. In the figure's case, the migrate must be done. The NOOP effectiveness test. The objectives of the test are verifying the effectiveness of adding group reporting and a patrol location algorithm to a patrolling system. The metrics used were temp R, the average time between recording an occurrence and all patrols arriving at its location. It measures how much faster is the response to an occurrence with NOOP. Temp FR. The average time between the recording an occurrence and the first petrol arriving at its, its location. It measures how much faster is the first response to an occurrence with NOOP. F patrol. The rate of the time of the operation in which a petrol is effectively patrolling, not on the move or resolving an occurrence. It measures how much effective petrol time is gained with NOOP. To compare the effects of NOOP in different petrol configurations, we test two different size territories, one simulating 16 square kilometers split into 16 areas, and another one simulating 25 square kilometers split into 25 areas. This 25 area simulation represents a scenario of great scarcity of resource when compared with the first, given that a larger area is patrolled by the same number of units, in the case 4. Five different NOOP configurations were tested. DB1, the first one, without using any NOOP functionality. GR, using group report only. GR plus FD using group reporting and NOOP FD, GR plus ND using group reporting and NOOP ND, GR plus IC using group report and NOOP IC. We analyzed all scenarios for the 16 area region and for simplicity W1, GR and GR plus EC for the 25 area regions. Two scenarios were designed each one consisting of a list of 15 work periods with 8 random occurrences. The graph shows the effectiveness test results will be obtained for the average arrive time of all patrols, Tempar. We can see there are cases such as 16 area scenario 2 and 25 area scenario 1 
where adding group reporting by itself or along with an allocation algorithm improves the power. However, there are also cases such as 16 area scenario 1 and 25 area scenario 2 where WN presents better results. As we can see in the table on the right, when considering all tested 16 area scenarios, we observed that in 68% of the cases, GR were faster than WN. In 68% of the cases, GR plus FD were faster than WN. In 70% of the cases, GR plus ND were faster than WN. In 70-80% of the cases, GR plus IC were faster than WN. For the 25 area tests, we see that in 58% of the cases, GR were faster than WN. In 89% of the cases, GR plus IC were faster than WN. This graph shows the results for the F patrol metric. Using NOOP increased in F patrol in all tested scenarios when compared to the WN baseline. In particular, we highlight GR plus IC for the 16 area region, which reached 52% while WN presented only 13.8%. For the 25 area region, FF patrol for WN was 80.7% and we see that adding simply GR or GR plus IC more than triples the percentage of the time the patrols are in operation. The NOOP scalability test. The objective of the test is checking the responsive of NOOP monitor in cases where there is increased occurrence of frequency. The tested frequencies are far above those verified in the real world. The metric used was the NOOP time. The NOOP time is the interval between the monitor recording the occurrence and sending the message to the patrol groups. In a scenario where NOOP needs to handle a lot of data, the point of the system that would be stressed the most would be the monitor. Monitor is the main element that must be tested to evaluate the scalability of the system. The graph shows the results of the scalability test. The vertical axis shows the average time interval between the recurrence in record and the dispatch measure in milliseconds, with the error bar in indicating the standard error. The horizontal axis shows the occurrence in periods from 100 to 5 milliseconds, first with 10 and then with 30 occurrence messages. Each point corresponds to one of the tests. We observe that regardless of the frequency of occurrences, the process takes between 100 and 200 milliseconds in almost all cases, except one outlier, which could have been caused by changes in the network condition. NOOP is effective in reducing the response time of occurrences and in increasing the effectiveness of patrolling. Relocation algorithms should be elaborated according to the characteristics and size of the region, and NOOP architecture makes easy to do it. Group no notification proved to be an important feature, as it alone was able to reduce response time and increase the effectiveness of patrolling. The authors thank CAPS and FIHP for this financial support and the intercity for the technological support.